The most obvious new feature in Cinema 4D Release 19 is the one that highlights all of the other new features, and that is the interface highlighting. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to control that highlighting as well as create your own custom highlight files. The first thing that you need to know is that all of the highlight controls are in the preferences. So just go to edit preferences and in this initial interface tab, you'll find the highlight features option. Now note that there's a little triangle here and that's important because there's additional options here if you fold down the triangle. First of all, you'll see that you have the option here to load the highlights of the new features in release 19 or there's a preloaded file as well that highlights the new features in release 18. Also here is an option for fading. Normally this is on by default and what that means is that each of these highlights is going to fade out each time you use the feature. So after you use the feature five times, it won't be highlighted anymore. I've turned this off for demo purposes because it's helpful for me to show you all the great new features in R19. But you probably want it on as it is by default so that as you use features, they won't continue to be highlighted and in your face. If at any point you had the fading on and you want to reset the highlighting so that it goes back to the original non-faded, fully highlighted options, just check this reset highlights button. Now, especially for those of you who are teachers or trainers, there's the option to load a custom highlighting file, which can be used to guide your students to specific commands and options within the interface. You can find out more information on how to create a custom file by right clicking on highlight features and choosing show help. And right here in the help, it's going to provide you with instructions on how to create a marker file. I'm going to show you how right now, but I wanted to show you the spot in the help so that you could refer back to it later. So what you'll need to do is open up a text editor of any sort on your system. It could be notepad, it could be text edit, whatever your favorite text editor is. And the first thing that we need to do is put in a comment line that says highlighting and the name of the highlight set. So in this case, I'm going to say CV tools demo. And next we're going to list any of the commands or attributes that we want to highlight. And the way that we find the commands that we want to highlight is within the command manager. You'll find the command manager in window customization, customize commands. And here we want to go ahead and search for anything that we want to highlight. So let's just highlight the CV ArtSmart object. Uh, and here down here, you'll see the ID for CV ArtSmart object is 1028655. Right click on that and choose copy text and we'll paste it into this document. We want to remove that ID text so it's just the command number and we want to put a comma afterward. And then if you want you can put a, two slashes and just identify what it is. This isn't necessary but it helps you when you look back at the file to edit it or uh, understand what is actually being highlighted. Now we've got the CV ArtSmart object highlighted. Let's highlight a few of the specific commands or attributes within the CV ArtSmart object. So I'm going to go ahead and add CV ArtSmart object to the scene. And here in the object tab, we have some of the key attributes that control how your Illustrator file is turned into 3D geometry within the CV ArtSmart plugin. So let's highlight the path spread and the extrude depth. And the way we do that is by Control Alt right clicking on the attribute and there's an option here to copy the ID to the clipboard for feature highlighting. So we'll just select that option and then switch back into our text document and paste in the string. And you can see that this is a string that indicates the, the object type as well as the attribute ID. And that's something that our Cinema 4D developers or plugin developers will code into the plugins. Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the extrude depth. I'm just going to control alt or command option, right click and choose ID to clipboard feature highlight and we'll paste that in. Now an important thing to note is that each of these lines needs a comma at the end of it and you can have comments after that but you do need to have a comma at the end of each line. We're going to go ahead and save this file now and I'll just go ahead and drop it on our desktop. I'm going to call this the CV Tools Highlight. 
and we'll jump back into the preferences and choose that load custom file option. I'm going to go up to the desktop and grab the file. And now you can see that if we go into the plugins menu, the CV Art Smart object is highlighted. And within the CV Art Smart object, the path spread and extrude depth attributes are highlighted. So that's how you can create your own custom files to control the highlighting in Cinema 4D Release 19 and later. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip, and if you did, please like, share, and visit Cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.